Yo, what's good, YouTube boy? This is your boy, Dreadman. Y'all know what time it is. It's the first week of December. It's time for me to count down the biggest epic fails of 2013. Yeah, I'm five years strong with this. But yeah, anyway, before I get started, um, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know what fa epic fail was your favorite and which ones I left out. But anyway, the first one is obvious. Miley Cyrus twerking at the 2011 MTV VMAs. Wow, I mean, this this whole 2013 twerk epidemic is ridiculous. I mean, come on, we got like five year olds and six year olds and 13, 12 year old girls making twerk videos. And um, I don't know uh, if y'all know this, but um, to make a twerk video, you have to have two things. One, you have to have uh, rhythm, and the second, you have to have um, oh, uh, I don't know, what's the most important quality of uh, being able to twerk? Uh, I don't know, have a uh, an ass, a um, a an actually shapely ass, it's in shape. And Robin Thicke, oh my god, he was wearing this whole Beetlejuice looking thing, this, this black and white Beetlejuice striped outfit. I mean, don't take my word for it, the video's on YouTube, y'all can go see it for yourself. I mean, but when Miley Cyrus was twerking, Miley Cyrus, she done got ratchet as hell over the past two years. The Young Money Cash Money crew wasn't lying when they said they wish they could fuck every girl in the world. But anyway, um, yeah, there's some things you just don't do. And Miley Cyrus, she broke the mold with that thing, I mean. But when Miley Cyrus was twerking, I'm like, come on, man, that, I mean, that shit looked like... Two raw turkey legs poking out of a Walmart bag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is just some shit that you just don't do. So, um, Miley Cyrus for twerking with no ass, and I don't know what the hell that was you're wearing, and whatever they paid you to perform that shit, I don't, I don't know how much you got paid, but whatever they paid you, it obviously wasn't enough. So, Miley Cyrus, epic fail. Number two, Ray J, I hit it first. Now, the so I'm, I'm not going to hate on the song. I, I actually like the song. The song is catchy as shit. The song is catchy as shit. She might move on to rappers and ball players when we all know I hit it first. I hit it, 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 I hit it first. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, the song is catchy, but, I mean, Ray J, it's Kim Kardashian we talking about, dog. You did not hit it first. You might have been the first nigga that hit it on camera and actually record it, but you didn't hit it first. I mean, come on. Ain't no telling how many niggas she was with before you. I wouldn't want to know that. But yeah, I mean, you get points for making a catchy song, but just for the overall message, epic fail. And you sound like a bitter ass boyfriend who can't get over the next. Number three, the state of Florida. George Zimmerman was found innocent for shooting Trayvon Martin. I mean, come on. It's like, that is ridiculous. Now, in the same, like, okay, I don't get this, guys. A guy who obviously shot and killed a teenager is found innocent. He's found not guilty. But a woman who fires warning shots at her abusive husband is on trial, and she could possibly get 26 years. That trial got dismissed or whatever, but that's that's not the point. The state of Florida epically fell for that shit. I mean, rest in peace to Trayvon Martin, you know. He didn't deserve that. Even I mean, I don't know exactly what the story leading up to it, but it's unfortunate that you know he had to lose his life in the process. I mean, that's ridiculous. So yeah, the state of um, Florida epically failed for that shit. And George Zimmerman, I don't care. You know, he will get his. I mean, and this ain't the first time that he'd have been in the media this year for that. I mean, for it. I mean, because he's had a domestic abuse charges, he's had assault charges, and other shit like that. So eventually, he's gonna get his from one way or another. Now, in sports. Aaron Hernandez, and this is another fucked up thing with the law. Okay, it was, I mean, at the time, they were not 100% sure if Aaron Hernandez had committed the murder. But they were 100% sure, but the law was 100% sure that, um, that George Zimmerman did commit it. Okay, let me get this straight in the, the American system. Let me, get, let, me, let me get this straight just to understand this. You're going to throw a guy in jail for something he might have done? Versus a guy who you know he did it. Makes perfect sense to me. That's, that's good old America for you. I mean, but come on. Aaron Hernandez, no. You have a golden opportunity. You know how many people were killed to play in the NFL? Millions of people to live their dream, be famous, do what they love, play their famous sports, and make millions of dollars of doing it, and you're going to fuck that up by shooting somebody? It's ridiculous. Epic fail for you, Aaron Hernandez. Oh yeah, and um, Derrick Rose. Derrick, I mean, I, I didn't, I really didn't want to go in on Derrick Rose. You know, poor guy. I mean, because Derrick Rose, he is a really talented cat. I mean, but he just can't stay healthy for, I mean, to save his life. I mean, but 
He should have played last year. He was 100% and ready to go last year. I guess maybe his confidence was shot. And speaking of shot, I mean, it's a damn shame that Aaron Hernandez plays football. He's a better shooter than Derrick Rose is this year. <laughs> I'm going to hell for this video, aren't I? But anyway, Aaron Hernandez and Derrick Rose. Epic failure. Next on my list, and it really does pay me to say this one because this guy is like in my top 10 rappers of all time. DMX. He was arrested five times this year. Once for being drunk in public, once for running around naked in a hotel, and three for um for DUI driving out a license, driving on a suspended license. I mean, D I mean, it's a damn shame what happened to DMX over the years. I mean, I mean, with the whole coke addiction and the whole you know his rap career almost failing. I mean, but it's just a damn shame. I hate to say this about DMX, but I mean, you need to get your life together, bro. You ain't only gonna lose your fans, and you ain't gonna lose your family. You are gonna lose your life, though. You know, you know, you my favorite, but I mean, just some, just some food for thought. So DMX, epic fail on that one. Now the next one on a more hilarious tone, the Sharkeisha incident. Shark, if y'all, if y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen it by now. I mean, a what, a 12, 13 year old girl just straight up. Falcon punched a girl who blindsided her and wasn't looking. I mean, I think she fell for. I mean, come on, her name is Shar Keisha for God's sakes. I mean, you know she's vicious. <laughs> but I mean, come on, man. And that spawned a whole bunch of in, a whole bunch of internet memes, a whole bunch of Shar Keisha the type of chick to do whatever. And you know, but Shar Keisha. I mean, they say you can't get famous off of one hit. I guess they lied. Now, this is an epic fail to the girl who got punched, learned to duck, and Sharkeisha for blindsided her. So, epic fail. The next one is the knockout game. That's where you randomly run up on a person who's not looking, and you clock them in the face so hard that you knock them out. People will think of any ridiculous ass thing these days. I mean, running up on innocent people, knocking them out, and I know y'all have already heard of the person who, the, um, the person who shot two teenagers in the chest for playing the knockout game, which they deserved it. So anybody who plays the knockout game epically, epically fails. And I mean, if you run up on that one person, I mean, with that, I mean, with a gun on them, or if you run up on the wrong person, you deserve whatever the hell you get. Now, I've been waiting for this one. Drake. <laughs> Drake has been the butt of numerous jokes this year. Including the Drake walk meme and the Drake the type of nigga insert joke here meme. I mean, that is, I mean, that has been the funniest shit. I mean, thanks to Drake, it made us not take light skinned niggas seriously ever, ever again. It made light skinned niggas look soft. Not all y'all, not all light skinned dudes look soft, or not all of them are soft. I mean, because I mean, come on, look at Akon. Akon is black as the Ace of Spades. He made a song called Mr. Lonely. So y'all tell me. <laughs> But I mean, the I find the Drake meme funny, but y'all leave Drake alone, poor guy. I mean, it's a damn shame. But uh, anyway, I, anybody who participates in that shit epically wins. But Drake himself epically fails. Man up, nigga. All right, but anyway, uh, last one. The PS4 and the Xbox One was released. Um, yeah, it was released in November. And they said uh, they shipped out 1.4 million units each. And out of that 1.4 million units, a few of them got the Blue Light of Death, PlayStation, and the Startup Screen of Death, aka the Red Ring of Death, or the, new, the next generation Red Ring of Death, Xbox One. Now you would think that as, many, as much money as Xbox and Microsoft pumped into both of these systems, you would think there would be zero hardware errors, zero, you know, faulty products, and you think that all oh, systems would be 100% ready to go. But that's just the part, that's the thing with supply and demand. They ship it out too fast without working out all the bugs. But, yeah, to any, I mean, to anybody who uh, bought a PS4, Xbox One, any next-gen console, it doesn't work. I feel sorry for y'all, I mean, because that's $500, four or $500 right out of your pocket. And even if you do get it back, to add insult to injury, you still don't get to play your favorite games. I mean, you still gotta have to wait. That's why I'm waiting to buy my PS4. Yes, I'm getting a PS4. Maybe Xbox One, two or three years down the road. But anyway, to PlayStation and to Sony and to Microsoft for those faulty ass products, epic fail. All right, but anyway, those are just my favorite ones from this year. Y'all, let me know which ones y'all favorite, which ones you like the most, and who failed the biggest this year. All right, this has been the Dread Man. I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.